let's get a few things out of the way first and foremost before we even begin the towel is on my head because i feel like i need to be comfortable and in order for me to be comfortable i need to be in my element and this is my element okay that's the first thing out of the way second thing in an effort to be comfortable and also make this a fun experience for not only me but also you guys um i need to make this whole process from beginning week one until week whatever everything needs to be fun and everything needs to be effortless in so many ways so now let's get into exactly how i plan on making this fun my name is talia i am a first year student freshman i am in my second semester though and yeah i'm very very excited to start this whole journey and i have a game plan as to how everything is going to be set up first and foremost though uh i just want to get out the fact that i lost my train of thought um let's let's get that out of the way i lose my train of thought a lot and i go off on tangents so ignore that okay i will try my best to stay on and with the plan okay in order to make this fun, I've decided that I am going to be doing video blogs and I am going to pretend to be a YouTuber because I've always wanted to be one. And you guys are my subscribers because that's how things work. If you're watching my videos, you are a subscriber. I appreciate you for subscribing. That means that y'all need names. Um, I'm thinking we'll come back to that. I'll, I need to figure out a name for you guys. Okay, this is lecture one um renaissance and pain now all i have to do is talk and sometimes that is the most hard part i have decided because this is the very first video that i'm doing um let's make it fun and let's start off very very easy and then as we go on throughout the weeks we can get more acquainted and not only get more acquainted but have the questions get more and more difficult and not necessarily difficult but more intricate we can use that word okay we're gonna start off with the question that everybody wants to know once they find out who this person is who is nathan peck i am going to put it off into different blocks and hopefully it's not going to be too long of a video starting off with the first block which is who is nathan peck to me personally which won't be too long um and then we'll go on to the second block with who is nathan peck as just a person and then who is nathan peck to the world okay cool cool starting off with the first one nathan peck has been my professor for two semesters now last semester and then this semester he taught me a class but way before then one of his colleagues slash friends ended up subbing in for the very first day and the way that he was introducing nate was interesting to say the least so i was very very interested to get to know who this person was i was a little hesitant and then fast forward a couple days he was just sitting there and when i came into the vac very first time and he told me which i I'll, I'll probably never forget is uh, get lost and then when you find yourself again come find me after we had a whole intricate conversation and it kind of just clicked in my head automatically and I was like, I know you. And we had a whole nother conversation before I actually got lost in the VAC and then found myself and went to find his class. It's a very interesting building and it has very interesting people and Nate so happens to be one of them. He's a very great teacher. He pushes you in the ways that he knows that he can and when he feels like he's reaching your breaking point he'll like tiptoe over that line which I kind of enjoy and kind of hate at the same time but that's Nate for you a bit of an oxymoron he has been my teacher for the past two semesters as I previously mentioned and I am looking forward to this class on to the next block of things I did a little bit of research which I'm pretty proud of um if I do say so myself he has been teaching at St. Xavier for a little over a decade, summer of 2011-ish, I believe. 
um, somewhere in 2011, um, he started films about paintings and it kind of exploded from there. As far as I know, um, he'd been teaching since 2001. His first teaching job was drawing to at Mount Mercy College in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. I didn't know that people live in Iowa, if I'm being completely honest. It was just one of those made up things in my mind, but you're learning something new every day. A bit of his biography, um, Nathan Peck is a digital arts professor at St. Xavier University and maintains a relentless exhibition schedule in a wide range of art media, whatever those words mean. Nate is an art professor and he dibbles and dabbles in a bunch of things and they always come out perfect in their own ways um he's a great teacher in all things um art and media related period so that's how i interpret that whole sentence after graduating from the intermediate program at the university of iowa again iowa is a state and they have schools guys he does a lot of cross media things. We're not going to get into these big words. He will take paintings and videos and mix them together and they somehow come out fabulous every time. Uh, and he was also a co-founder of the Chicago Art Department, which he's mentioned in the past. And it was just kind of like, oh, look at you. Another success under your belt. We get it. Um, that was a joke uh a little more digging that i did he was featured in the chicago tribune for um a project that he ran i believe um and it was specifically for a hospital um sorry it is not trying to pop up lord have mercy it's not trying to pop up but he was having students go around and basically capture four photos i believe um of the beauty that is chicago uh and i felt like that was really really nice you know um yeah to try and find images of the south side or south suburbs suburbs that patients um might potentially feel a connection to um so it was basically like a therapeutic and an art aspect to it which is always something artistic having to do with any of the projects that he does as far as i know uh and i really really enjoyed the fact that he's always kind of trying to give back in some way or some shape or form he was featured in the chicago tribune and he also knows how to play a bunch of instruments um like guitar um to the world i guess is the third block he's a bit of again the word eccentric sorry my head is itchy he's very very eccentric um like he just had a sabbatical not too long ago and the art show that he put on which i'll probably insert a picture um the art show that he put on it was absolutely wonderful in my personal opinion um he had his son come on and they were playing music and he had all of these old ipads um and really could he could have literally like been doing nothing during quarantine but of course nate being nate he changed all of that the quarantineness into art and i really really loved it it was a great experience especially it being a first experience nate being the first experience was great in my personal opinion he's mentioned rook tv uh, he's given us a bunch of sketchbooks that uh he's drawn in over over the course of years and years and years and they're so random but it has some inspirational work and i'm gonna say some because sometimes he says like the most random things like what kind of poop he had that day and that's not very inspirational at least not to me uh he often goes to look at the different art forms around the world i can't remember the name of it to save my life but he ended up going there and i honestly really really loved the video um he was just basically showing off all of the artworks and they were all in one building i believe or a bunch of buildings put together um and everybody has something different and it was just wonderful and yeah 
that is who Nathan Peck is. Uh, I look forward to speaking slash seeing slash vlogging next week. And I have officially decided on a name. I'm thinking Orions. Hopefully you like it and thanks for watching the video. Bye.